Hi, I'm Focus, the Not-So-Handy Dad, and this is a follow-up to our review of Goblies, the hand-thrown paintball kit. I'm going to be talking about the chemistry behind how the paintballs actually form with Barrett here. Hello. Alright, so making paintballs starts when we put a chemical called sodium alginate into the water. Now, once it's all mixed in there, it looks thicker than normal water, almost like a thin syrup. So feel it, and you can feel how it's a little bit slimy. Yes, it just feels like slime. Yep. After we have the bath, we take another chemical called calcium chloride. We dissolve that in water. We add some cornstarch and some coloring to it. This makes the paint for your paintballs. The chemical reaction happens when you put the two liquids together. Now, I've frozen the calcium chloride solution with the colors to make them easier to work with and easier to drop into the alginate bath. So would you go get those out of the freezer for me, please? Just bring one of them. Right, all you do to get them out is just push them on one side and then drop them down in there. Yep, you just, you just drop it in there and it'll go. You don't even have to get your fingers wet. All right, we're gonna set our timer for 12 minutes to let them set inside the bath. Now what's going on in there is the calcium chloride that's on the outside of those little frozen ice cubes that we put in there is reacting with the sodium that's in the sodium alginate solution and it's making that skin around the paintballs. So this is a polymer like how we made slime? Yes. When we made slime, we mixed two chemicals together and they became very sticky and slimy. Here, the two chemicals that are mixing together, the sodium and the calcium, are forming a skin that keeps the paint inside of the paintball. Hmm. All right, that's 12 minutes, so you can go ahead and start scooping them out one at a time. Gently get the spoon up underneath it and just lift it right out of the solution. There you go. Set it down and just as soon as you get it into the water, let it go. There you go. Jaden, would you like to do the next set with me? Yes, please. Okay. How do you do it? Just put your finger, slip it out. Then, and then just drop it in the bowl. Carefully drop it in the bowl. Hello? Yep, that's yeah. okay. Don't. Yep. Do you do that? No, I'm gonna make that blue one. Thank you. Thank you. Don't bad each other or anything. Three, two, one. Why don't you get to the side? There you go. As you can see, when kids are involved, it's a little more unpredictable. You have to make sure they are very, very careful and give it a practice a time or two. Should be firm enough not to. Okay. And then just throw it like cold. right, right on the chest. There you go. Oh. Ow! <laughs> it hurts a little. Oh, oh that's a good. Don't hurt me. It's kind of it's wet. For the actual paintball fight, I suggest setting up two stations on either end of the playing field so that the kids can go grab one at a time and throw them at each other. If you give the kids a bucket of paintballs, they're likely to drop them all on the ground in the first volley of the fight. Our fight was a fail because it lasted about 10 seconds. This can be remedied if you just set up the rules of the fight a little bit better. But the kids had a really great time and they think that the product is great too. I'm the not so handy dad, and right now I got some kids to clean up, so I'll see you next time. We love Bobby! <laughs> <laughs>